Wow. Yeah, I feel so bad for you. It's uh, this is why I tell people slow down, don't speed up. You're in a situation. I'm going to help you and give you as much information as I can. But for all those that are thinking about going to denture, this is where we have to slow down because so often good intention, good men, good women, dentists that are truly trying to make a difference, they don't spend the time to help someone understand what the consequences are of getting a denture because that first day or two in your denture, it's a nightmare. And I'm telling you that nightmare actually never goes away. You, it, it takes away your dignity in a lot of ways as a person, especially as a woman. Um, I've had so many patients who are like, you know, getting a denture made me feel so unfeminine, right? You feel, when you have to take out your teeth at night, I mean, can't imagine what that's like to be able to feel like you can't stay at your friend's house because you, know, you have to take your denture out or it's rattling around. Lil, your question is, what do I do heading, uh, moving forward? I get, the gag reflex is really difficult because <clears throat> that really isn't something that uh, we can change. What I can tell you the mistake that most doctors make is they try to make the denture more comfortable for you by shaving the back down. But the problem is when they shave the back down, you lose all of your suction. And suction is how it stays up. And so in the, initially it's like, hey, thank you so much. You walk out of the office but now that denture is falling out mid-speech. So then what the patients do is they start throwing all this denture glue in there. Now they're wearing this denture glue that completely dries out their mouth. Now it feels like they have a desert inside their mouth and there's adhesive and then every night when they go home they have to just scrape this adhesive off the top of their palate. Again, not something you want to experience. So um, a, a denture, it can be a good temporary device if you have like heroic uh, personality of being patient but that that said um, you you really need to act quickly to, to make sure that you lock and secure your bone because <clears throat> the second you take out your your all your teeth and you go into a denture the talk the clock is ticking the longer you wait um, the less bone you're gonna have and so that's why I tell people the best time to put implants in for most people is actually the day the teeth come out and this is kind of goes against the what we were, we were saying 15 20 years ago if you work with an, uh, an old school doctor, again, big heart, wants to do everything right for his patients and he doesn't want to take a lot of risk, he'll take your teeth out and give you a denture. And I'm telling you, I don't know of anybody that ever has said, oh, I just love my immediate denture. No, everyone's just like, this is a living nightmare. And in the top, you can somewhat get it to stay. On the bottom though, no way. Like literally it's, a, it's floating, even if you put adhesive in it, it's still gonna float. It hurts really bad if you put it on the lower, the top, at least you have the roof of the mouth. But the problem is, again, most people, not most, but there's a large majority of people do have a gag reflex. So the only way to get it to stay is to have a long flange going back and that just makes you gag. So there's not a lot of really great options for her, but I would say as soon as you possibly can, see someone and get the implants placed. As soon as those implants are placed, they can fixate that same denture. They can convert that into a fixed device where it stays in all the time.